now open. And there we go. And hello everyone, and welcome back to my channel. Welcome to what I'm now calling Greg Scott Bailey Saves the World. <laughs> uh, this is my Seven Days to Die series. We are now in day three. Um, there's the morning chime. Uh, but uh, during the night, uh, we had some fun shenanigans with the Wandering Horde. Um, I'll go ahead and share that preview with you now. So funny enough, these zombies were kind of like uh, just wandering around the base at first. So after I took them out, I went and chopped some uh, some stone. But then shortly after this group, oh well, hello there. Hmm. One, two. Oh yeah, that's a full horde. Just uh, just stay over there. <laughs> Golly. And here, fishy, fishy, fishy. <laughs> And not too shabby. I had uh, some mighty nice fun. One last little guy here before I started the uh, recording. Or started the actual episode. Uh, so we've got a couple things that uh, we're going to go over today. Uh, I ended up getting another hood from the loot last night. I had some pistol rounds. Uh, so nothing uh, nothing to get like really excited about for, for loot drops. But uh, we'll, uh, we'll at least go and sell the hood. It's a little bit more food. More food. Okay. Uh, we do have another retrieve supplies quest. Uh, so we should probably go ahead. Uh, <clears throat> we could tackle that now. But uh, what I did notice is that we actually uh, forgot some items at the top of that house over there. Let's, let's get it first. It was an ammo pile. I did a nice little oops reminder uh, when I edited the video. <laughs> oops, I'll do it again. <laughs> uh, so yeah, so let's head up there and get this ammo pile. And then we are going to finish that house. And oop. yeah, look at that. Looked right over. Because there was that candle there. I think I was just, I was distracted by the fox and the candle. Good times. And... Oh, ho, 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 ho. you know, I talked about it and we still didn't do it. No points into parkour. Let's, let's do our next point into parkour, which is, uh, just a, a zombie kill away at this point. Oops, so we can't go this way. Of course I'm being a dork and running on the sprained angle. All right. So yeah, we got up here, went out here. We have the crawler here. Burn zombie here. Had the safe there. We we got two lock picks. Let's, might as well try it, right? Ah. Alright, well. Nothing up there. Uh, let's see, also because the stone axe, how many hit points is this? Alright, I'll, I'll skip ahead on the video here, but we'll crack this open with stone axe. Boom! Alright, that took about five billion years, but we got it. And, alright, well we got 
upgraded bow. They're both going to be the same, right? Yeah. So we'll go ahead and scrap that. Scrap that. I'm not doing spears, so scrap that. So um, not really something I wanted to waste uh, a couple of uh, lock picks on. But yeah, we got into it. Um, all right, let's see what's up here. Today I would like to move over to a a point into um, another point into um, clubs. Uh, was it Hummel Pete? Trader Joel's is now open. <laughs> and there we go. And uh, you might have actually heard there's loot. Uh, something a little bit different. Uh, in fact, uh, we, we've now switched over our character uh, to a guy. And uh, I started kind of playing around a little bit with the, the character creation. <laughs> Not like you could really see much about him, but... But, uh, oh, little Johnny Bravo where there, <laughs> uh, had a little, little fun with that. But, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll mess around with that, uh, because I do have plans for Polly and, and, uh, we'll share that at another time. Uh, some cooling mesh mod. Nice. I think we can put that on, can't put it on the coat. Yeah, it's gotta go on armor. That's right. Okay, so we got our first blunderbuss, uh, level two club. We'll scrap that, um, and a uh, iron breaker mod we could actually put in our stone axe. That would be nice. We'll get that uh, blunderbuss equipped here in a moment. There's our first chest armor. So now we could do the cooling mesh in that, and chest armor on. We'll sell, sell. Equip, and we'll put. I'll put that there for now. Uh, but the anvil we'll put in the forge. Uh, rocking and rolling with that. That makes me happy. I don't want to get rid of the scope, but uh, you know, oh, it's only sixty-eight. I thought it was like six hundred dukes. Uh, never mind on that. Okay, so we've got all of this. Uh, what's in here? Another. Weapons bag. What's in your wallet? Come on. Cooperate. Like, everybody and their grandma could do this with me. There we go. Another blender bus. Okay. Uh, so we got level three. You, know. you can't do a magazine extender mod on it, right? No. <laughs> uh, but okay, so we got a magazine extender. Well, can you sell? Yeah, you could sell the blender bus. All right. We'll sell that stuff. Got some more blunderbuss ammo. Let's go ahead and reload this. Or load it, because it's our first time. And there we go. That is it for up here. Okay, so I mean, it wasn't a massive amount, but it's a little bit. I mean, we got a new blunderbuss. We got uh, things uh, rocking and rolling here. Um, okay, so retrieve the supplies is uh, a 1.5 mile away. Oh yeah, my ankle. Um, <laughs> let's let's sell this stuff to Joel. Uh, we'll put the uh, anvil in, and I should probably stop running on the ankle. That's also part of the reason why, I, like, go ahead and sit there and open up a save because then you could just take that time to. Uh... Oh wait, is it still doing something? Yeah, it's still smelting. That's why it's locked up here. There we go. That's free. Now, that's what I was talking about yesterday. Uh, about it was it yesterday or that day one? One second for every piece, five seconds for every piece of clay. So, if you're wanting to do calculations, you can kind of figure it out that way. So, like, okay, if you know if it takes five seconds to do one piece of clay, you know how you know, five goes into sixty minutes. How many times? You know, just kind of um, there's sixty seconds to equate to a minute. Things like that you could think about 
to uh, to put enough wood in to cover that. Uh, it looks like iron is one second per. So that's even easier to calculate, obviously. Yeah, 60 pieces. Go ahead and put yeah, one minute worth of wood in. Uh, but uh, that... Uh, that will be that. We'll let that burn out. We'll take that forge back. Forged iron back. I'm going to wait till this leg heals before we actually uh, head back to, uh, or head on to this quest. And it sounds like, or it looks like that chicken did die. I can't reach from this side. Let's see if we can get to it before it despawns. Ah, screw it. We'll run. We'll risk the injury. Because this stuff despawns quick. Uh, case in point. <laughs> Damn it. Yeah, it, it got hung up on the barbed wire when we were inside the building uh, over there. Oh, man. Added 10 more seconds for nothing. So it doesn't want the sledgehammer, so we'll just put that there. Awesome. Um, yeah, I want to keep pipe bombs because I want to have fun with those. <laughs> it has forged steel, but no, no more forged iron. It does have rebar frames. But, oh, gosh, I don't know if I want to buy those just yet. Uh, let's see, schematics. He does restock tomorrow, so if there's anything I'm wanting to buy today, we just don't have the cash to spend a lot on. The, the dukes to spend on that steel tools schematic might be fun to get right away though yeah let's do it y'all come back now oh i'll be back because uh yeah we start finding a lot of those steel tool parts i'll, I'll make a level two or level three uh um uh, steel pickaxe that's that's perfectly fine the only problem is is you know the stamina it uses up, but uh, we'll try to work on that as well. Okay, slow walk back to the base, and then we go to the retrieve supplies quest. Okay, we should be set now. I had to make sure my... Uh... <laughs> Uh, I got two boxes set up there. We we don't have any organization going yet, but uh, at the very least, we got uh, we got a reasonable we got a reasonable setup for the base. It's all basic, uh, you know, base, basic, basic base. Uh, I'm going to upgrade all of it to flagstone today, so we'll end up making some, some cobble later. If we get a wrench. Uh, of course, we're going to want to start taking apart cars. There's another coal vein there. Be interesting to have a coal mine over here. Not terribly worried about planting flowers right now, but we'll see how that goes. Oops. <laughs> see if we can get this guy. Whew. I didn't even think that made it. That's what I'm talking about. Okay. Some of these POIs I'm not terribly familiar with, but we should watch for landmines. If you don't know a POI, approach and walk it, walk through it cautiously. Oh, a better shovel. Uh, I don't have the other one on me. Okay. But yeah, I mean that's all it takes is just. Uh, <laughs> One one turn around a corner and it's landmine city. All right, let's hold off on looting anything else until we do this POI. Something of note here is we got the the crack a book um, store that's in this um, this little shopping uh, brick and mortar setup here. I never know what to call these kind of buildings, but. Um, you know, you start over at uh, Dick's Cafe here, which uh, anybody from uh, Seattle, um, got to get a bag of Dick's. <laughs> uh, such an inside Northwest joke, or Seattle joke mostly, but uh, 
Um, hey, I'm loading cars again. But um, yeah, so uh, at some point we'll want to run through that. There's a good chance we might actually get it uh, as a quest. So I don't know if I want to hold off. You know, we want to get as many books as possible. So um, perhaps one of the days here before uh, before Horde Night, we'll give it a shot. Uh, this is what I was afraid of. That would be in the snow biome. <laughs> Well, let's see if we can avoid mountain lions at this early stage. Oh. Oh, my goodness. How many meats you can get off that bear? <laughs> oh, did we just go beyond... Um, yeah, level six. Shoot, we're... I don't have that coffee on me either. Coffee beans. All right, well, gonna lose a little bit of stamina loss here because of the cold. I'm also wearing shorts. It's like, oh, look at that, see? Okay, we, all right, we're loaded up. I mean, we're, I'm on default settings. I should be able to take out a cougar. Before it takes out me. <laughs> Should. Oh, of course there's a dire wolf up here too. Because why not? I mean, it looks big enough to be a dire wolf. Ah, okay. We could handle a single lumberjack, maybe. Yeah. Genuinely not familiar with this POI, so I'm actually not sure where all the. Oh, we hear somebody sleeping. Big guy. All right. Uh, <laughs> get ourselves another candle. Uh, I was going to say puffer coat. No dice. Miso soup. Let's go eat that. And we'll eat the tuna. It'll free up some space and, you know, we'll stay fed. Yeah, whenever you go to a roof, think vultures. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. Cool. Uh, and then this was a retreat supplies, so there it is right here. Okay, so technically we are done, but um, since I don't know this POI, I'd like to uh, check it out a little more. It's not big, but... Sit down, buddy. That's why they call me a cowboy, baby. Another adrenaline that could help if we get encumbered looting all this stuff. What we got here? Backpack. No, you know one thing I didn't check. I don't think it'll work, but uh, putting um putting the helmet light mod. Can you put it on the the hood? The padded hood. I'm, I'm guessing you won't be able to, but. So there's one way to find out. Nice. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, there's a basement. <laughs> Tempting fate. Um, so was it a back room here? Ah, we'll be fine. That's the worst that could happen. Bunch of zombies. That was cruel. Uh, let's see, we'll leave the candle there just for a moment. Like, 
no loot for uh for a job well done. I think there's something back here. There we go. I mean, job done well enough. <laughs> Huh. I haven't seen hay bales that you couldn't pick up before. Or maybe I just didn't pay attention to them before. Ah, that's what it is. Loot behind the, uh, okay, yeah. This is similar to, I think, like an old style shotgun store. A couple repair kits. We'll, uh, enjoy those thoroughly. All right, so we got a gun save here, and uh, scrap those. It's gonna take a while, five thousand HP. But you know what? We're we're not gonna be able to come back out here, so I'm gonna do this, and we'll be right back. Holy cow! That took forever. And the results, nothing really. To <laughs> be too proud of doing that for um just wow oh cool got a better helmet here let's get the heck out of there once we get to a reasonably safe distance away from the uh <laughs> from the snow um, I'll go ahead and put that on. Uh, now that we've got a scrap helmet, we can put the helmet light mod on that. Uh, I'll still want to test it though, or the padded hood, but I just don't think it will. Uh... Oh, somebody got blown up. Um, I just don't think a padded hood will actually take that mod, but we'll find out. So we got a mushroom seed. Uh, we'll see what we got here, but that's kind of the hilariousness of my trying to pre-plan. I had uh, <laughs> I had got a bunch of mushrooms to make mushroom seeds, and then they they go go figure. We end up finding one. Um, that's fine. Either way, as long as at some point we we do get some mushrooms planted, and we try to stay ahead on the food game here. Nice. So we got the cooling mesh <laughs> schematic. Let's eat the soup. Read the schematic. There she goes. Awesome sauce. All right. So that took like forever and a day to do. Uh, that's the hard part about getting these jobs that are more than a kilometer away. Let us visit for a while. For a while. Well earned, traveler. Well earned. <laughs> Let's get the Molotov cocktails. Our our inventory does have a slot available. Uh, it doesn't do that anymore where you drop the Molotov and it breaks and catches on fire. But that was uh, uh, something that used to happen. Oh, that's right. We left. Uh... Maybe next time. Happy travel, survivor. Oh, I'm not done, sir. Uh, let's see, there's a clear zombies, a buried supplies. Which one's this one's south? And this one's west. Um, I have a task. Oh, thank you. Set that much. one up for tomorrow. I'll make it worth your while. So now the rest of the uh, I was gonna say, how much clay do we have left? Oh, we should have some back at the base, too. Um, we'll. Oh, do I want to sell anything? Nothing right now. Um, so we'll use what clay we have. We'll dig up a little bit more right underneath the middle of the base to get more. Because that's the only place that, around the base that I'm really going to dig. It's just one layer. Uh, but I want to see what we got up here first. And survey says 1,100. That's a pretty decent mount. Let's do that. And stone. So let's do cobble. We can make a total of 700. Let's make 500 for now. 
You always want to just try to keep some of those supplies on you. You don't want to get rid of everything. Okay, meats are good. That's being made. Let's go ahead and put the rest in here. Oops, except for that. Yeah, because again, the idea here is that we're going to be upgrading all these these wood blocks to flagstone to cobble, and uh, and then eventually this whole spot that I'm sitting in right here is going to be a solid block, even if it's just flagstone, solid flagstone. Um, that should be good enough. Uh, we left our shovel up here. There is it. That is good. Okay, so there we go. We got all the leg supports uh, are upgraded to flagstone. We still have some more in the making. I had to switch over to a level two stone shovel because the other one's stuck in the queue. Um, but that's going to do it for today. A real quick episode, uh, you know, day number three. Nothing too heavy here, of course. Uh, we we had the possibilities of some uh, shenanigans there in the winter biome, but. Uh, uh, thankfully we didn't, uh, I mean, thankfully for my character, bummer for you guys watching, uh, that we didn't get into too much trouble. Uh, I'll probably spend the night here at least, uh, upgrading as many of these blocks that will let me, and I'll fill in the inside here. I'll be need some wood frames again. Crap that up. So, uh, thanks for stopping on by watching this, uh, episode. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe if you have, if you haven't already. Uh, comment down below. Let me know your thoughts on the series thus far. Uh, I should start picking up uh, probably a little bit after uh, the Day 7 Horde. Uh, we'll start doing some more exciting stuff, but uh, everybody that knows 7 Days to Die knows that the first week is is more of that personal touch. It's that, that, that uh, exciting, um, can I make it on, on food and stamina and, and fighting zombies at a lower uh, lower level kind of thought process. It's not so much the excitement of fast pace uh, work that you get when you start getting higher levels. But uh, but so far, uh, a couple of you folks have chimed in, uh, read the comments on episode one and two, and I really appreciate it. You guys are awesome. Uh, so thanks again, everybody, for stopping on by. And as always, we'll see you on the next adventure. Bye-bye. <laughs>